If you're watching this video, you're probably thinking about moving to the country. We left the city about 20 years ago, raised our daughters in a small, rural community. It was the best thing we ever did. These aren't going to be how-to videos. They're going to be more heads up. I'll give you some tips, show you some tricks. Hopefully they're going to save you some time and maybe even a bit of money. We're going to cover lots of topics, so let's get started. In this series of videos, I'm going to cover things like chainsaws and firewood and wood stoves, water supply, septic tanks, clearing land, road building, things that you never had to deal with when you lived in the city. So let's start with the property, um, some things to look for when you're, when you're looking at property. If you're buying raw land, there's a few things to consider. Does it get sun in the winter? We have a south-facing sunroom. And in the wintertime, on a sunny day, it pretty much heats up the whole house. Saves me loads of firewood. Is the property treed? What types of trees? Our property has a mix of evergreen and deciduous. I could see when I looked at the property that most of the big stuff had been logged. That was okay, because I knew I was going to clear for horses. I could also see that many of the alders and maple were near the end of their life cycle, soon to be dead. That meant I was going to have to drop trees that might fall on house, hydro lines, or horses. Lots of work, but lots of firewood too. Something else to consider is drainage. Where does the surface water come from, and where does it go? Our seven acre property is flat with a gentle slope. I have a ditch along the high side that carries most of the surface water away during big rain events. We are located in the southwest coast of BC, so we get a lot of rain. Also, are there any rivers close by? If so, is the property on or near a floodplain? This river looks idyllic in the summertime. After a few days of heavy winter rain, it swells up, flooding low-lying areas and eroding its banks. Next time we're going to look at choosing your building site. See you next time.